If there's one aspect of reporting on Everton that's sure to guarantee a response, it's player ratings. Every game this season, the Echo has run the rule over Ronald Koeman's men. And those simple ratings out of 10 prompt more debate than just about any other aspect of our coverage. Were you even at the game is the oft-quoted criticism, along with you clearly know nothing about football. Rate, though, we have. And the international break seems an ideal opportunity to take stock of what we have been saying. Everton have played 14 games this season, and every player who has a made at least six scoring appearances meaning they had to feature for at least 15 minutes in a match has had their average rating computed. So, who tops the list and who leaves a bit to be desired timeline how Everton have rated this season taking his chance good saves decent return consistent good signing promise always busy learning curve some difficult days steady Mr. Average room to improve must do better must also do better what's happened regular observers won't be surprised to see Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Jordan Pickford lead the way, such have been the consistent performances of the young duo. Wayne Rooney, too, merits his place near the top despite one or two below-par outings, while the same could be said of fellow summer signing Michael Keane. The interest, though, comes a little further down, with Tom Davies the highest-ranked midfielder and the trio of new recruits, Davy Clarsen, Jiffy Sigurdsson and Sandro Ramirez, all thus far falling way short of what has been expected. Everton history maker Leighton Baines tells why he gave up penalty-taking but the real shock is who is in last place. Morgan Schneiderlin, signed in January, played enough games last season to be ranked top of our average ratings for the entire campaign with 6.8, but this time around is so far ranked rock bottom on a mere 5.75. Talk about going from hero to zero. Umar Nyase, by the way, HASNT featured often enough to be considered. Yet.